So, um, what did you want to talk about? Future. You haven't changed your mind, have you? Just the opposite. We need to make plans. We need to make plans for us and for our children. And I know it's been hard on you lately, but I've been doing some really hard thinking. And I want you to understand that I'm going to focus on you from now on. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's, I, it's, it might be a rocky road for a while, but I think you and I have a true shot at true happiness. You have no idea how this makes me feel. It's okay. I'm serious. I don't want you ever to think that I don't care about you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if my mother and Ivy can find a good nanny, I can make Ethan forget about Teresa forever. I think perhaps you should let me handle this. I have interviewed many servants in my day. I know exactly what we need. We need good references and a pleasant demeanor and nice manners. Okay, well, we are looking for a nanny for Ethan and Gwen, and I will know the right woman when I see her. Uh, could you send the first one in, please? Hello. Hello. Get out. But I drove all the way up from Boston. I said get out. Next. What kind of nanny is Rebecca looking for? So, we have a master plan to make, right? I mean, mm -hmm. what do we both want? Do we want to work? Because, you know, I was making pretty good money before, but so were you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I Eden, mean, there are so many possibilities. I mean, I could stay home, you could work, or, or you could stay home, I could work. We could both work. We could stay in Harmony. We can go to Boston or New York. Whoa, whoa, okay. Boston or New York? No, not a chance. No way. Why? Because I want to stay here. Is it because all your memories of Teresa are here? Mm. 